I'm Ina Markovic, coming from Slovenia and I'm a professional sport climber. I started climbing when I was at the age of 10 and uh, I really didn't know nothing about this sport and I really like that I started and since then it's almost uh, part of my everyday. I'm 27. I started competing quite soon, like a year or two after when I first saw what climbing is. Uh, and later also with the international competitions in a youth uh, team and since then like since age of 14 i'm a regular member first of slovenia youth climbing team and later of slovenia sport climbing team adult no i just like it more and more and it seems like i'm i'm just enjoying it every day more and it's becoming more part of my day competitions are interesting uh, i like the challenges the training and uh, when you set a goal and on a comp you really go into and you want to get a reward for something and i found it really nice uh, and so it's everything together challenge traveling friends it's good until now, I've been more focused on uh, competition climbing, so I didn't spend much time on the rocks. But uh, I'm definitely putting eye on uh, more rock climbing, so when I decide to switch it, I think it will be a nice decision. I don't know, I'm not thinking so much about it, but uh, definitely both sides uh, seems really interesting to me. Yeah, definitely, Slovenia is a pretty small country, but it also brings its benefits because uh, we know each other, we can go climbing together. Uh, like if there are many strong climbers on one part, it's like normal that you climb strong and you can get advices from the other strong climbers and uh, climber buddies. Um, looking for the outside climbing, we have uh, quite many good spots like uh, Osp, Misha, Pecher, Nikal, but uh, also the other areas are developing. Uh, but looking from the training and team part, uh, we definitely had a really good base uh, with the national team and also the youth team, which is getting really strong. Honestly, about alpinism and big wall, I didn't think uh, till now. So I think the next step will definitely be more uh, rock climbing outside, but I'm not uh, putting out the possibility to go uh, long routes or maybe even alpinism one day. I'm like an um, all-time climber, so um, I'm also employed by the Slovenia Armed Forces due to my results uh, on the competitions. And um, mostly I train every day and it is in a gym. It really depends what I'm doing uh, sometimes, but it's not often, it's just uh, short session in a boulder gym about two or three hours but uh, if I, we go climbing on a big wall or if we have a national team training then it could last uh, all afternoon or we do like two sessions or something like this um, so i would say nothing special like i go on a training and uh, i do the session as long as it takes and later i have time for maybe some stretching exercises uh, I also like to help a uh, boyfriend uh, in the gym or um, there are many things to do like some interviews or just checking what are next plans or things like this so it's never boring. If I don't get the results, um, anyway I will need to start to thinking what I want to do further in my life so I, I'm not taking this as a pressure but as a benefit. I actually never uh, made a project to myself or like spent more times uh, or more many tries in one route so even mind control i did in the first try uh, so it was pretty quick uh, it's mind control in oliana which i did uh, last it's 80 c plus which i did uh, at the end of the last year in december 2014 um, on like a vacation trip when i took a bit of uh, rest or time for easy climbing or my side of climbing um, so after comps I took a, a little break and then uh, get energy to start training further. I would say uh, there are just few exceptions who are uh, really strong and they focus on rock climbing. The, the other are focused on a competition and um, if you're focused there you can't really do hard stuff on the rocks, just a quick ascent. But we can see that if many women now we can do 
strong ascents in you know, just few tries, then the level is definitely going higher. The competition is a special event and you have one try at that time and you need to, you know, this environment which is set, I don't know, from your, your feeling, competitors and everything, all the environment put together to a unique situation and it is harder to compare. Because it's challenging and um, it's definitely part of adrenaline and it's part of like, you train for something, you know you're good and then you get a chance and you have just only one chance to prove it and to, to show what you have.